Team race airs right here on CBS Texas. Now traveling with your kids can certainly be an adventure, but probably not quite like this. Roy City native Steve Cargyle and his daughter Anna Lee Wilson take on the epic race around the world. Eyes on that million dollar grand prize. They joined us live in studio to talk about what it was all like. Well, Steve Cargyle and Anna Lee Wilson, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. Love being here. Yes, it's exciting. For having us. Yeah, yeah, amazing to have two contestants that are local uh, on Amazing Race. What has this experience been like for both of you? You know what? For me, going into it and then now leaving it, being able to do it with her, with my daughter. You know, she's married now and adult and been out of the house for 12 years. It's you know, it's something that I'll ha I'll have to cherish the rest of my life and. You know, there's there's a lot a lot of the videos and a lot of the show that people are gonna laugh at and <laughs> that were emotional and physical and you know, but I, I can always rewind it and go back and watch it again and and show her kids that my grandkids that I'm gonna have soon, maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> she said maybe. Some plans in the world. Maybe. Anytime time I get her on camera, I have to throw that in there and put Lord, a little pressure on her. Yeah. For me, it was really cool because I travel for a living. So getting to see the world through my dad's eyes, it just changed the way that I see it. So it was the coolest, hardest, most emotional experience I've ever been through. But it was amazing to be able to do it with my dad. I it love going new places. I don't. I don't like getting to new places. And so for me to go, she literally had to drag me to, to make me do it. I'm so glad that I did. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of things that <laughs> I would have never seen. And uh, like I said, the memories are, are priceless. And Annalie, you were saying that this is something that you always wanted to do. Why did you want to do this? And then at what point did you decide I need to get my dad involved? I am competitive by nature. I've always been competitive. I played collegiate volleyball. And ever since we started watching it as a little girl, we would do little competitions together or challenges, almost as if we were on the race. And she wanted to embarrass me and show me how much better shape she was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Which realized, you know, he's, he's the person that I go to that when I have problems or issues and we communicate really well. And it, a light bulb went off one day and I was like, you know, why don't we just audition? Like, we'd be a great team. And that's, that's when it happened. Uh, Steve, I... I and, and Annalie, I've been told I cannot get through this interview without asking you about mm -hmm. the Palmellos. Oh, mercy. <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> well, I'm just glad they didn't. She, they, made, they were very kind to us. They the were producers, very the kind. The editing department were very kind. I about beat them with a pomelo stick. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. We sunk a boat. I think Twice. We've been on the water my, my whole life. I've been on the water. I've never sunk a boat before, but yeah, good old Thailand. We sunk the boat to the bottom. We thought we were being we sneaky. Down the way down. We thought we were being sneaky by loading up all the pomelos, saving time. But every time we would turn a corner, water would just come rushing. Take in on the boat. a wave, and about that third one, we went. Yeah, went to the bottom. Oh so. gosh! And we had to go all the way back to the beginning to empty, you know, dump the oh, water out. No. It was a nightmare. Yeah, you oh. say you say we're going down. I said we're going in. <laughs> we're going in. Our passports went in. His pa oh. his face on his passport washed away. Like, yeah, it was I didn't bad. think I was getting anywhere else because I looked like Hello Kitty on there. All the colors <laughs> washed away. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, so that's been one of the moments, but what has been your favorite moment so far? What was the favorite place that you've gone? I don't think we can say that. So far, up. though, since we've all only been them, in Thailand. All of them had their... And then their, we're going to Vietnam. That's and that's, and you've yeah, been in California? And been we started in, California. in Hollywood. And was that your first time in Hollywood? No, I've been there before, oh. but, you know, we got lost. I think we had a harder time navigating L.A., than either of the foreign oh countries goodness. we went to. <laughs> I can see and that. I mean, I can understand We were leaving that. L.A., our confidence kind of got down. We were like, well, if we can't find <laughs> Lord have something mercy. in L.A., we're in trouble when we can't read something. Look, you don't realize how blessed we are to have a GPS. And that's the one thing I said, when I get home, I'm going to turn her up as loud as she can go. And I hope she screams at me and says, turn right in 50 feet. That's all I want to hear. Yeah, I assumed growing up without navigation systems that I would be okay. No. No, no you no. can't read signs. He was horrible. can't read the line. <laughs> what about you? It was horrible. Uh, I think everybody was horrible. Yeah. And th but that's part of the race because you, you always feel like you're in last place, but you, somebody else is always having a worse time than you are trying to navigate. What, what really strikes me right now, and I'm sure I speak the same for uh, Brooke, is just seeing the love mm -hmm. you guys share and just seeing it up close and in person. What would you say to other uh, parent-child uh, uh, duos 
that may not ever get the opportunity to do something as spectacular as this, but maybe they should take advantage of the opportunities they do have. I would say take the time, make the time, and spend the time because once these little kiddos are adults, you know, they, we're busy. We're a busy society these days, and, you know, the family unit's not as tight as it used to be. You know, Sundays you're not at Grandma's house. That, spend every minute you can with them because you, you can't, you don't get time back. So going, like I said, I was hesitant to go and leave behind my wife, my business, but, you know, I sure cherish the time that I got to spend with an adult child. And, you know, we did, we had laughs and we had a good time even though some of that won't show on. Yeah. <laughs> and too, you know, I, I would say to always like take the videos even if your parents get mad because my parents used to get so mad at me. Oh, that camera's but in my face. stuff like that is set in stone, you know? And especially now that we're on a show, that's, no one can take that from us. We don't have photos anymore and all of, uh, I don't know how old you are, but you know, I have photos I can go dig through and mm -hmm. it's funny to look at. We don't have that anymore. It's all on devices and you know what, spend the time you know, transfer it, get it somewhere where you can see it because it's, it, you know, those moments, you don't get them back. Yeah. Do you feel like this experience has brought you guys closer together? Oh, no. I took her if back to her ever husband. Eats a banana. <laughs> <laughs> no one I was expecting. Uh, if he ever eats a banana one more time near me, I'm going to punch him in the throat. <laughs> All right. Well, like, who chews a banana? He chews it like this. <laughs> we're, 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 we're definitely uh, peeling back some of the not so fun moments that you guys have had. Yeah, when you're stuck in a hotel room with somebody you can't leave five feet from them for a month, you start to <laughs> you start to remember what it was like growing up. You know, the, with the, the aspects of the race, you know, it's it. You sit at home and watch it, and, and you know, armchair quarterback the show, and you can do it all. And the physical part of it, the mental part of it, it's the real deal, and it it pushes to our limits. Being without, you know, my wife, yeah. knowing I'm away from the business, our animals, and it's just, you know, the stress, I can't, I can't tell how high that stress well, was. Well, what's crazy, it, I feel it, like. It took a strong team, you know, to work through it. Yeah, and I feel like when you're watching it on TV, you would, you might say like, oh, why'd they do this? Or why'd they do this? But I promise you the tunnel vision, like you get in a challenge and that's all you see, it's all you know. You don't even pay attention to what's around you. So. It's just interesting to watch it back because it's 100% not like it is watching it at home. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is it different than you remember it when you go back and you watch an episode? I don't now? remember it. I see stuff on TV <laughs> and I, I said, I don't remember saying that. Or, mm -hmm. I don't remember answering that question. And, you know, they were talking directly to me and I just don't remember it. Yeah. The pressure, the, you know, there's, it's high pressure. And nerves and anxiety and everything else. Just like the billboard in episode one. I mean, we all just blinked with the city of angels it was <laughs> it was bad <laughs> and again it's here you know it's not a foreign country it's not a it's not a tropical you know destination somewhere it's here yeah i think we struggle more in la than anywhere else yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, then we started rolling so it was a great experience great teams great cast i don't know about past seasons how the cast was but you know it was a, it we're sure like, convinced that this is the best cast yeah i think everybody kind of helped each other out along the way and I, you know, we, we built some friendships that we'll probably have a long time. Yeah, we talk every single day. And you guys are a big part of this being the best cast. And, yep. And congratulations on making a, another set of lifelong memories. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here with us today. Of course. Well, thank you all very much us. for your time and having us. Yeah. They were so much fun. Yeah, they were. I mean, they, they told so many stories that you wouldn't even see in that segment we right. just aired. <laughs> which and was, we which stood was afterwards long. for 20 yeah, minutes even talking to them because we wanted to hear more. Yeah, so you got to watch them. Yeah, when, when she Pull says the way he chomps on that banana, I was like, what's so wrong with... Oh, no, I, guess, I know exactly what yeah. she means, a teeth clicking. <laughs> I can't, I, I'm with her on that one. I know some people that do that. That's a big no-no. Big no-no. And don't miss Steve mm -hmm. and Anna Lee on The Amazing Race. New episodes air right here on CBS Texas at 8.30 every Wednesday night. So you can catch them tonight. Yes, you can. What a father, what a daughter. It's 9.55.